Hey everybody in here sitting out on my porch having my coffee with all you. It's January 1st. You won't see this till the 2nd. But um and I got my my shades on because the sun has been coming in and out of the clouds again and it just beats down on me. It kills my eyes. So, but the wind is picking up and I can see those clouds moving and it was supposed to have already started raining. Um, but it hasn't so it's not the storm the big storm isn't going to start until about noon noonish and it's gonna the the bad part of the radar well it's where it's really red it's gonna go right over me so I'm a little scared but I got the generator running charging up some more stuff oh the split pea soup came out really really good um, so I don't know, I'm just kind of looking around. Uh, the chickens are in the van. I've opened up windows. I've opened up the back door. Once the uh, wind starts, I'm going to close that back door because I don't want it to slam shut and scare them. I've got the windows, the ones that just push out. Um, I've got them open, so they've got plenty of ventilation. And if it rains, it's not going to rain inside the van. Um, I've got the gentlemen. They're out in the run. And the Easter Eggers, they're locked in their pen. But... Um, I figure it's better to be safe than sorry, so I don't know how bad this storm's going to be, but I'm a little nervous, <laughs> a little bit nervous. Got the generator going, charging things up. Um, anyhow, so I'm just looking around me thinking, the good thing is, is I think there's going to be some more tree, tree limbs down, maybe trees that I'll be able to cut up. But um, I think tomorrow we're going to get snow. Yeah, I think it's going to be snowing tomorrow. And the temperature is going to drop really, really bad. So, um, look at my curls. <laughs> so, I don't know what I'm going to get done today. I'm just going to be, like, nervous. But I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be just fine. And the chickens are going to be just fine. And the doggies are going to be just fine. They're calm. <laughs> They've already been out for their morning romp. Um, so, I'm just going to keep my fingers crossed. These are the gentlemen. Look how big they are. Oh, just so beautiful. Look at them. You know what? Campy has turned out to be a pretty magnificent rooster. He's got some pretty coloring and he's not so mean anymore. So I'm not going to put him in my belly. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that one that's leaning. That pine. That is going to come down someday. It's not moving too much right now though. are only about 20 miles per hour right now. Hey chickens! You mad at me? <laughs> yeah, they keep kicking stuff in their water. I've just got a little one in here right now. That's alright. I've got another thing of water back there. So, I don't know. I think they're doing okay. I checked in here earlier and they were just all down there taking a dust bath. Ooh, gross. That's like in compost. But whatever. I didn't capture it, but that boy right there greeted me <laughs> with a piece of shredded puppy pad in his mouth. So I get to pick this all up now. Sonny, I mean Junior, I love you, but you gotta stop chewing on stuff. Oh, look at this boy. Yeah. Sonny, you too. Kind of hard to be mad at that face though, isn't it? And all of a sudden, woo, it's on. Something that uh, big cracked out in my woods, so I think it's time to go indoors. You guys, I'm scared. <laughs> Actually, I'm cool. I'm good. I did forget to do a couple things, um, but the wind, when it starts raining, the wind seems to kind of go down. I forgot to close the back door. I mean, the the rain just came like all of a sudden, within um, an instant. It just came, and uh, so I didn't close the back door to the van. Um, I had meant to turn the generator off, and I didn't do that either. Um, you know what? It sounds like there's a break in the rain, so I think I'm going to go do that now. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go do that, close that back door, and um, open up the windows, make sure they're both open, and turn off the generator. Look at me. I'm all suited up. I love these things. They're just wonderful. I've used them so much. There we go. Door shut. I'm going to go turn off that generator. Um, because it's only, I don't know, like around 1 p.m. 
and um, oh gosh, it's a swamp back here. Um, this is only the first part of the storm. Uh, between 4 and 5 p.m., it's uh, going to get really bad, and the radar shows that I'm going to be uh, right in the middle of the red part, so I really just don't want the generator on while that's going down. It just seems like a bad idea to me, so I'm going to go turn it off. There we go. I probably didn't do that in right sequence, but that's okay. Oh, I forgot to show you. Uh, I think you may have seen it a little bit. Um, that little sawhorse thing that my son made me, it only has one side to it because it was designed to this part go in the back of a truck. But um, I used some of the boards Miss Donna B gave me and stacked some wood up there. And I started stacking wood up here. I haven't split these yet. I just pulled them out because I didn't want them to get rained on. So, ooh, down here, there's plenty of uh, more boards down there. I will eventually pull a couple of these out because I got a couple more shelves to put out. But for now, this is going to be great to stack wood on. I'll be able to stack it up pretty high. It's actually very calm right now. But according to the radar, it's going to go, it's going to go crazy. Um, these guys, the, them, <laughs> the gentlemen, they were smart enough to go up in their poop. <coughs> Hi, Campy. When, uh, the big, big, uh, wind was going on and they are just now coming out. Um, so luckily they're smart enough to go up in the coop. The rest of the, the rest of them, it's not that they're not smart enough. It's just that they might get caught out somewhere on somebody's property and it like that storm it just came very quickly um, and the winds are very gusty when they come so I figured that wouldn't be good for them so they're in the van and they're doing just fine I figure it's about 1 30 there's a calm in the storm check for eggs what there's only one none of the file cabinet that's weird okay I was just coming back here to grab that to refill their water thing and I noticed over there, look at that! Oh my gosh! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eggs? Oh my gosh, how am I gonna get them? <laughs> because remember this thing back here, it's all covered. Oh my gosh. I got them all. Yeah, there's eight of them. The one in the middle uh, on the bottom, I think that's a Roxy egg. The rest of these, they're all pretty big eggs. I have no idea how long they've been laying back there. But here, let me show you what I've done to try and discourage them. I just put a, like a little piece of wood in a center block down there because I don't want to be having to fetch eggs from all the way back here. Oh, my goodness. It's a little after 2 and I'm back inside the tiny house after collecting eggs. I already know there's three in the Easter egg or coop, but... Um, I don't want to open it up because they'll come flying out and I want them to stay in. And those Easter Eggers, they've been laying in the corner of the floor of their coop. Um, now, there was one in there last night, so I took it and I put it in the nesting box that I had just put fresh bedding in. And so one of the other Easter Eggers got up in there and laid in there. Um, but one of the other ones laid down in the corner again. So I don't know what it is. It's dirtier down there. You know, I put fresh breading in the little nesting box places, but they just like to lay in the corner. So, um, you chicken experts or people who have experience with this, tell me what I can do, um, on that, the floor of that Easter egg or coop. What I can do to keep them from laying in that one corner. It's always that one corner. Um, and I don't like crawling in there and have to having to retrieve the eggs, and the eggs are getting dirty. So what should I do, you guys? Anyhow, um, I've been closely watching the radar, and um, it seems the worst has gone by. We're at the tail end of the storm now. It is dead calm. It's cloudy. We're going to get a little bit more rain, but um, it, it's like there's two bands of the storm that are going. There's one here, and then there's another one here, and then where I live, it's kind of like right in between. And um, so we'll get some, you know, some dark green 
weather radar. Um, we may get a little bit of the yellow. If you look at a weather radar, you'll know what I'm talking about. But we're not going to get, we're not going to be in the red. We're not going to be in the red part anymore. So things are going to be fine. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.